Hi guys, thanks, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Yeah. Today me and Rob. On the way to the bushcraft show. Yeah. We're on the way to the bushcraft show. So it's Friday today. We set off at about was it six-ish? Half six. Yeah. And uh, now we're on the road, so stay tuned. So we are finally here at the bushcraft show, so nice to be here, um, me and Lou have just found ourselves a nice little spot here in the woods and we're just going to set up our tents, but yeah, it was about two and a half hour journey here, I came down with a mate, Rob, um, in his motorhome and um, yeah, it's going to be good, we're going to set up, get used to like the area, maybe get some firewood and then walk down later to the actual show and have a look. So mine and Lou's tents are all set up now and whilst I'm unpacking and like organising the inside of my tent I just want to say a huge thank you to Gary who's one of my patrons and he got me these lovely hidden woodsman um, little bags, like storage bags for his fire kit and this lovely bag that I've used for my wash kit and a haversack which is over here and I'll show, show that a little bit later but they are so nice and I've just been using it been um, using all the bags, loaded that all out with my gear and I'm really happy with it so Thank you, Gary. That was for my birthday, which was in April. And um, and um, I'm starting to use the gear, so I'll be using that and taking that with most of my camp outs. So Lou's collecting some wood for the fire. Got a little bit around us. So it's stunning here. It's still quite quiet because we got here a little bit early. Um, I've just dug out our fire pit down there and Lou's just going to start the fire. So I'm just going to saw up some wood and then go get our tickets. So we've got to go back to the main gate and collect our tickets for the actual event. I can't wait, it's going to be really good and I'm um, going to see what's on this year I think there's different things going on but it's going to be awesome Lou's got the fire going, well done you Yeah, we're going to have some chicken Yeah, that's the plan So it's really nice, we just met a Slovakian two Slovakian lads, had a chat with them so it's really nice like, seeing like-minded people who are just so nice and that get you so yeah, it's really good. And we're going to go down later, get our tickets. But first After. we need some food, don't we? Yeah, starving. starving. I've got us a little seat that we're sitting on now. Rolled it in from over there. And now Lou is just cooking some chicken. Some burnt chicken. Over the fire. Very nice. So we went shopping yesterday, did a little food shop. Got all the stuff in that we needed. Um... And yeah, we got quite a bit of food. We are planning on buying food here, but we're going to do some cooking at camp as well. So, yeah. That's the plan. Just met Margot, who's Hello. come from Slovakia. Great guy, great stories. Are you looking forward to the show? Yes, I am, yeah. definitely. First time here? Uh, first time here, yeah, definitely. So. I met these two young ladies, definitely talking with them about my experiences, about oh, ghosts <laughs> and stuff in my solo camping adventures. So I'm looking forward to this show. So we're just chilling around the fire, soaking up the sun. Such a nice day. 
more and more people are turning up now. It's getting quite busy. Please, let's see your new knife. Very nice. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I am. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Nice colour. Yeah. That's not a knife. That's... And a new top. Oh, you've bought loads of things today. Can't get enough. So we're back at camp now. We just went down to the main site and then had a little chat with Luke from the channel Hippie Swift, if you want to go check him out. Um, so now, just got the kettle on, gonna have a hot chocolate. Can't wait for that. Morning guys, it's day two today and I've just woken up so it looks sunny out there which is always a good sign I'm gonna get up maybe put the fire on me and Lou are just sitting around the fire she just woke up um, I got the fire going this morning made ourselves a hot chocolate so we've just been looking through the manual as well so it's got a nice little book filled with all the things that are going on today and like all the speakers and things like that so yeah it's a lot on today I'm gonna try out some different things I think Lofty's on today isn't he Lofty Wiseman so we might listen to him for a bit So we're going to head down to the show now, see what's going on and um, have a look around at the different stalls and things like that. So I've got my Far Raven trousers on today and I just want to say a huge thank you to one of my subscribers who got me these for my birthday. So thank you Barry, they are great. <laughs> Outside now, then I can refine that down further if I do decide to keep it with a uh, just with a hook knife, um, uh, like a spoon carving knife. Um, I'm right handed, but I'd probably do that with a left handed spoon knife because I can have it hold it on the reverse and push it down, get quite a lot more um, force that way. <laughs> Again, we're going to give her another go. Yep, she's had another thumbs up. But actually, there's something really important you need to do. Look there, thumbs up. Time to do what you need to do. Yeah, and then he leans in and he pulls the shoot. They don't, because they're a, they're a supplier of. Best burger all year. Bison so here we are with Luke from the channel Hippie Swift. How are you enjoying the show? Oh, so terribly so. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It's great fun. You've been volunteering, haven't you? Yeah, hard work, but it's got to be done. Yeah, doing a great job. Yeah, so if you want to go over to Hippie Swift's channel, check him out. Do you want to tell us what your channel's about? Uh, I go camping on my bike all over the UK and... I hope you can get outdoors as much as possible. Yeah, That's pretty great. much my ethos. <laughs> yeah, it's great.
So I thought oh, you needed lovely. a decent quid. Thank you well. Oh, Thanks good on so you. Much. You're welcome. All right. Thank Cheers, you. mate. That's beautiful. No worries. Right. Right. No worries. I'm Jay. Jay. You got, Jay. You got the motorbike, have you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I it's see the other day, I've I done a little bit of a video of the yeah. setup, it's well nice. Oh, it's a little uh, uh, classic Suzuki. I've been down to the show this morning, just looking around, got a bit of breakfast, and listened to a woman called Jojo Wood, um, who was doing a speech there. And I've just been given this lovely arrow holder for from a subscriber called Jay, so I'm so chuffed with that, it's it's lovely, there's so much work gone into it, so I'll be using that in my videos. You enjoying the show? Yeah, loving it. Awesome. What's your favourite part? Uh, I don't know, it's meeting people, I think, socialising and meeting up with the subscribers and uh, chatting away. No, it's been been really good. Come what? back and uh, eat my leftover burger. <laughs> what gear have you got then? Me, I've, I didn't buy a lot really because I've spent a lot on the landies. Just bought probably my little ferro rod for my TBS bore knife. And uh, Mrs. Bushwhacker's bought her knife. Where's your knife, Ange? In the bag. She's got herself a. She's treating herself to a nice little. Treated herself to a nice little ball knife. What's this one called? Lynx, Lynx. isn't it? Lynx. That's yeah. really nice. Look at that. TBS Lynx. Nice cooking knife. <laughs> Earlier, I had a little go at um, skinning a squirrel. So I've brought the meat back with me. And I'm going to cook that up in a minute. I've got the fire going. Me and Lou are here. She's got um, my dad's meat that he carved. Carved, skinned. And um, she's going to be cooking that. So yeah, it's been such a good day. The weather's been nice. Been listening to some chats. Did the squirrel. And um, yeah, now I'm just going to, we're going to cook some dinner. And then we're going to go back down a little, little bit later and just speak to some more people. So this weekend's been great for like meeting new people and socialising. There's just so many down-to-earth, nice people out there. And it's, it's just great to see, especially like young kids who are into this sort of thing. And um, I've met a lot of my subscribers, so if you're watching this, thank you for coming up to me. It was really sweet, it made my day, it made my weekend, and um, yeah, I've, I've loved meeting everybody, it's been great, great fun. Get some squirrel on, tell you what we think of it, it's our first time eating squirrel for both of us, so we'll see how it goes. So I bought this earlier, it's for my forearm when I'm doing archery, for a bit of protection, it's good to have. So I think that was 15 quid, nice bit of leather, and um, it matches the arrow pouch that Jay gave me that I've just shown you. But yeah, I really recommend, if you haven't already, like practicing butchering a squirrel or any animal. It's my first time and I really enjoyed it. It was really beneficial. and. Um, yeah, you learn so much about this and once you've done a squirrel you can then progress and use the meat and um, learn how you can cook it, different strategies and what you can do with different bits of the animal. So it's, it's great fun. Yeah, a good experience. Yeah, I also met a subscriber who, was, who came over while I was uh, skinning the squirrel. <laughs> he kind of got forced into it and he ended up doing it, but I think he loved it. Another guy who I met when we were doing the squirrel gave me this. So it's um, golden syrup, water and something else. It's like an alcoholic drink. Um, I'll probably have a few sips, see what it's like. 
Yeah, so thank you Joe for this. Appreciate it. So Lou's just whacking the meat into the pan. Gonna fry that up. How's the squirrel? Beautiful. Well done, girls. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Like? It's quite nice. Nice and warm. Is it similar to chicken? Oh, it is actually. A bit of seasoning on it will be gorgeous. That's yeah. quite nice. I'm going to have a little bit now. Have a try. So just it's currently still eating the squirrel. It's nice. I really like it. It's good. Oh, it's better than Nando's up here <laughs> with our squirrel. Do you like it, Lou? Yeah, it's good. So it's finally Monday, it's the last day and we're all set up our Land Rover ready to head off. Had such a good weekend, it's been amazing and uh, hopefully we'll be back next next year at the Bushcraft Show again. So thank you for joining, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe it's inspired you to come next year. So take care.